Sat Nam Sat Nam Sat Nam Sat Nam Sat Nam Sat Nam Oh, happy Saturday! Oh my gosh! We love you. We love you. And we have a granddaughter who loves you. Are you, you too. falling? <laughs> Stop. Let's concentrate. Uh, oh, 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 yeah. Let's just <clears throat> concentrate while she's falling. <laughs> she's not falling. Okay. Okay. So, so today anywho. is the 37th day of our time together. Shh. And um, also, the sun is at five degrees of Virgo. And thank what God. I, uh, yes. I'm so glad it's at five degrees Virgo. <laughs> Because that means that the ruling state of awareness is healing our mind. Our mind mm. is being amped up over what we have become. And that means what do our thoughts create what we're becoming? Are our thoughts positive? Are our thoughts creating us becoming a kinder, more peaceful, more authentic person? So today is a great day to really pay attention to the way you think and and stay in the highest as much as you can. Um, the other thing that is really interesting to know, in modern astrology, they have always said that Virgo is ruled by Mercury. And there, you know, there's some there's some truth that, that makes some sense because uh, Virgo is very strategic. But but the one thing about Mercury is that it feels, it senses, it's not just intellect. And so a lot of astrologers are moving the ruling planet to Chiron, which is the wounded healer. So then you could say that we become what we heal. I think that resonates so much. So today, you know, we're on the fifth day, literally, of Virgo, knowing that we came to the earth to heal. We came here with wounds that we have been dealing with for thousands and thousands of years. In fact, some of these wounds come from, from Atlantis and Lumeria when we were actually, some of us have been at a time on the earth that was already in the Aquarian age and watched it fall. And that's why you're back. Because you watched it fall. You have so much wisdom. You have so much um, love for humanity and earth, and you probably have these secret attributes, even maybe unbeknownst to you, that the world and the earth and her people need now. You are a big part of what we are becoming. The mirrors are always a part of our life. You know, in these last days, everything ends up to be the seventh mirror, and the seventh mirror is when we totally relax in the arms of God, and we know that everything is happening in divine order. Every illness, every mishap, every challenge, every opportunity, every love, every pet, every part of your life is in divine order and is mirroring all these opportunities to grow and to heal. So we'll take these last days that we're in. What do we have? Three more? We have Sunday and Monday. So today, Saturday, Sunday and Monday. These are our last moments together. I hope you're doing your sadhana with yeah. all of your heart. So we'll take these last days together and make them like the next beginning of the, of the new life that we're going to have, that we have starting today. This new life, the seventh mirror, just all of the opportunities that God has provided for us. In every way, starting with the next breath, the next heartbeat, just everything. Just can you be grateful for everything just the way it is? <sighs> there is so much for us to be grateful for. And there is so much pain and sadness in the world right now. Never, ever has it been more important for you to do your own healing and work so that you can be a lighthouse. I encourage all of us, you know, we're not going to just drop off and disappear. No. I encourage all of you to do the three-day Aquarian immersion. If you've already done the teacher training, just repeat it, make a donation, call it a day. Get your three days in there. 
immerse yourself. Imagine being with us for 12 yeah, hours imagine, a day. Well, not even us, but just imagine being with yourself for yes. those three days. Imagine doing exactly what your body is craving on a daily basis which is just like brushing the teeth and taking a shower, except we do it for our our minds, we do it for our brains, we do it for our bodies. Body is craving meditation, it's craving movement. And in those three days, we will be doing that constantly. And also just making new friends and just preparing and keeping us in alignment as we new, as we move forward into our lives. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, <laughs> Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, Holy Mother, Holy Mother, we bow our heads and open our hearts, we bow our heads and open our hearts. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this day. Relieve me of the challenges and the bondage of self. Relieve me of the challenges and the bondage of self. With you, make my personality new. With you, make my personality new. A personality of love, kindness, and giving. A personality of love, kindness, and giving. And so it is. And so it is. Amen. Amen. We love you guys. Sat Nam. Sat Nam. Sat Nam.